Welcome back friends to this another video related to Linux and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can uh, make and use virtual environments in Python so uh, this video is going to be related to virtual environment in Python and for that first of all you need to have some packages on your PC including PIP also so if you have a freshly installed Ubuntu in in your PC so first of all uh, you you will be all you already be having uh, Python in your PC the latest version of Python uh, I currently it is 3.8.3 uh, the method I'm showing here will work for all Python 3 uh, versions of Python 3 so first of all you need to install pip and for that you need to install the package Python 3 pip and here uh, I have already installed these packages as you can see that python3 pip is already the newest version ok and one more package which, uh, which is the vnv uh, package to, to, and to install that you can type here python3 vnv so it is uh, v uh, Python 3 VNV also is also installed on my PC and uh, with uh, with these requirements satisfied you can continue so uh, the any beginners who are here uh, they can use synaptic also so if uh, if if you will go to synaptic package manager and you can search here and install if you will not get any search bar here you can install app zapin index also so now simply i'm going to open terminal as this video is going to related to work uh, going to be related to work in terminal only so uh, currently i'm in my home directory so let me switch to my documents so where i can make uh, virtual environments and show you that how they work so for making a virtual environment you have to type here python3 and python3 after typing here python3 you have to type minus hyphen m and v vnv and your project name so let's say for example i am naming my uh, virtual environment as my underscore vnv so as soon as i will press enter it will create a virtual environment for me so sometimes it may take a second also and as you can see that it has been created so if i press do a ls here and i can see that uh, uh, unfortunately there are uh, two virtual environments here the uh, one that i have made earlier so uh, I'm going to delete uh, the virtual environment which I have made earlier here so uh, also here you can see by this that how to delete a virtual environment so I will delete this virtual environment here and then when I will do an ls here you can see that uh, see, uh, only one uh, virtual environment is here and uh, now uh, how to activate this uh, environment so for that you have to write source and uh, after that the name of your virtual environment uh, remember that you can type few letters and uh, press tab to auto complete open to has a very or debian has a very intelligent auto completion feature and after this you have to type bin and this after you have to type activate so and now I'm going to clear my screen and you can see that uh, this in inside parenthesis the your the virtual name of your virtual environment will appear in front of your prompt so from this we, we you can know that your environment is activated so to see that what packages I packages are installed in this you can do a pip through list and you can see that I have only pip and setup tools and pip package resources here to and to install any packages here you can use pip also you can you here inside virtual environment in that it doesn't matter that you are using 3 with it or not you can if you will only let's say for example I will install a package as speed test CLI and it will install it for me and I will be use it also 
so and once once again if you want to use that with python is being used if you type python here here also you don't need to type three additionally here although you can type also it will do the same thing so if you will uh, run python here the latest version 3.8.2 will run and i'm exiting from here and if you want to see that which python is being executed here so you can type here which python so as you can see that this is the python which is residing in my home directory inside my virtual environment then inside my bin and then python so same way you can see for python 3 also it is also in the bin directory and now i'm going to clear my screen so the second thing is that how to uh, create a requirements.txt from your existing virtual environment so in case just in case if you want to uh, export your pa uh, the packages of your virtual environment to someone else like if you will uh, give your project to someone else with the required packages so for that let me install some more packages so for example here i am installing pip install bs4 so this will install beautiful soup in uh, in my virtual environment I'm waiting for it to install it has given some error here but anyways I'll fix that error later and here you can do a pip3 list and now you can see here that uh, I have these all packages here so to create a requirements.txt you can do pip freeze and then requirements dot txt and as soon as you will press enter and run this command uh, you will be having a requirements dot txt in your uh, uh, in the same directory where you are having the virtual environment so if I'll see this requirement txt that it contains all these things also so now I'm going to exit I'm exiting this and if you want to use this requirement dot txt so let's say that here I want to delete the m delete my existing environment uh, here I'm deleting and when I will press enter the virtual environment will be deleted and after that I'm going to create a new virtual environment by writing here as python3 hyphen m vnv my this time let's say it as my fridge and when I will press enter it will create a virtual environment for me and to activate that I can say source my project and then bin and then activate so, and now my uh, virtual environment has been activated now and now to use that requirements.txt in this uh, virtual environment you have to use the pip command or the pip3 and after that you have to give a flag here which is hyphen r not here after install and you can then specify the name type the name of the text file here and as soon as I will run this command it's going to install all those packages from that previous virtual environment in my this new virtual environment so now when I will do a pip3 list here you can see that it has installed all those packages in with the same version as that in this new in this virtual environment so let's see I'll clear my screen here and then after that what you can do 
uh, one more thing yes so to install any packages inside your virtual environment you don't need to use sudo so many beginners do these mistakes now to create a virtual environment, uh, virtual environment which will have access to your system in system python system python so for that i will do a pip3 list here to list my list the packages which are uh, sorry i'm uh, in the my virtual environment let me deactivate this to deactivate a virtual environment you can just type deactivate and press enter and this and the virtual environment will be deleted so if i'll do a pip3 list here i'll be able to see all the packages which are installed globally in my systems python and here i am going to create a virtual environment which will have access to the system packages so for that you need to type python 3 hyphen m vnv and then after that name of the virtual environment so that let's say sample sample and then hyphen hyphen system site packages and when I, you will run this command it is going to create a virtual environment which will have access to your system site packages and let's say here once again when i will activate this uh, virtual environment and now as you can see that now the system environment has been uh, activated and now let's i will open another t terminal and see that uh, sorry here i'm going to see that which package to import from here so let's say I, I import request that request is not in my this uh, this uh, uh, virtual environment but uh, when you will do a pip3 list here in this in a virtual environment it will list everything all the packages which are installed globally uh, I mean modules or libraries so to list the local packages of this environment you can do pip3 list and then local sorry uh, you have to use a double slash here double uh, double hyphen here and it will list you the local packages as these are the same as the as the first virtual environment we made in this video so so this is how you can create a virtual environment with access to system packages let's say now here I'm in Python I will import requests and it will get imported so that's so that's all for this video and I hope you have uh, understood that how to create and use virtual environments in uh, Linux and the steps are going to be same if you are using a Mac so thanks for watching this video if you like this video you can consider subscribing my channel and I'll see you next time